hook up the player for the first time to your computer, how to move the file so you have backup. So first time when you plug the USB cable into your computer, you don't turn the unit on, just leave it as it is. And in the right hand corner you will see the message here. It will say found a new computer, found a new hardware, USB drive and it's ready for use. It will be the first time when you hook it up. So leave it until here all the messages disappear for the first time and then once you do it second time you will see this message uh, that the computer now found a removable drive which is number F. You can have a different numbers, different letters and you just press cancel and we are going to find the drive. So start my computer and our removable disk mp3 player is here. So double click on that and you have folder audiobook. So this is the first time when you are having this hook up to your computer just right click on the folder copy and now paste somewhere where you remember on your computer so it could be desktop it could be uh, for example what I did is I put it in my external drive which is V you can put it on your C for example in my music folder and it's right here so I don't want to copy and th paste again because it's gonna overwrite and so on but after you press paste everything will be moved from the mp3 player to your computer so now you have not only backup but you can listen to the audiobooks on the computer an entire collection of audiobooks is right here now uh, at this moment this player was uh, all this audio files were designed for a heavy travel so it means you have over 30 hours of um, audio but if you are going for a uh, jogging if you are be on the subway like one hour two hours and you want to instead of going through uh, start on the mp3 player then go to the music section and go to menu and menu and menu and choose the songs or the audiobooks if you just want to or if you want to buy a book, you want to download from the computer, from the internet. So after the payment, they will give you the file. It will be folder, folder like this, and it will contain uh, MP3 files. So if you buy from the store, or you want to move from the existing folders to the MP3 player without going through the older menus, you just want to go to the music section, and the audiobook is right there. This is what you will do. So I'm going to go to our removable drive, which is disk F, completely delete audiobooks folder. Now remember, make sure that first you have backup on your computer. So actually go there, click inside, and uh, do it and listen so the files are not corrupted and everything is there because uh, you can always put everything back okay so it's deleting all the files almost one gigabyte of uh, so I'm going to restart later so let's pause for a moment Okay, so the file, the entire folder is gone. I would also remove these two test files. This way, if there is no folder, remember this is a music file, and your player automatically detects uh, MP3 files in the music section. So as you can see, we have two test movies, we have pictures, we have folder for recording of your voice through the microphone on the mp3 uh, player 
so there are no audio files and there is no audio folder. Again, I'm going back to my V drive, external drive. I'm going to find audiobooks and let's say I want to get the speed reading. So you will open the folder. Don't copy the folder because again you will have to go through menu, local folder and find that uh, title, for example, speed reading. But if you do this, open entire selection. So now you have separate files. Go to edit, select all, copy. So this is if you want to move the songs or audiobooks from the folder or if you just purchase the audiobooks on the internet. You will have this kind of files. Again, we are going to removable drive, which is our MP3 player. In this case, disk number F. And just paste these three audio files. And now, when you go to your MP3 player, so first we have movies, the next is music section, you just press menu and you will be taken inside the music section and automatically these files will be right there. So this is how to avoid going through all the menu, local folder and looking for the titles. And that's it. So you just close it, remove the drive and you are done.